Hi everyone, we are back today on Edinburgh's Royal Mile and today's story is probably one of the most curious stories regarding Edinburgh and this place is Bell's Wind. Now, round about 200 years ago, uh, Mr George Cuthery was marrying his fiancée Christine and she lived here in Bell's Wind. So, being a locksmith, he decided that it would be better if he moved into the centre of Edinburgh, be closer to work and probably get more clients. Now, when he moved in, he realised that the whole time that he had been dating Christine, that the house downstairs had been unoccupied, all the blinds were closed and the door was locked. When he asked Christine about it, she told them that the house had been empty for around 20 years. And he did find that a bit unusual, as being Edinburgh, you would expect all the houses within the area of the Royal Mile to be occupied. So he pressed her on the subject, but she turned around and says no more about it. She would never talk about it. So although he asked many a person who stayed around the area and in Bell's Wind itself about the house, no one would actually speak of it. So one day, fortified by alcohol, he decided to go and explore the house itself. Using his locksmith skills, he got into the house. When he got in, although the house was thick with dust and cobwebs, he discovered that the house had actually been set for dinner and it looked like the people had just got up and left all of a sudden. As he explored the house, he got a sickening feeling. The last door which led into the main bedroom was closed solid. It took a while for him to get through, and when he did, he saw the four-poster bed had its drapes drawn. He opened the drapes and got the fright of his life, for there, in the bed, was the skeleton remains of a female. As he quickly closed the drapes and made his way out, he had a chill. When he looked around, there was the said female watching him. He quickly left and spoke no more about what he actually found when he got back to his own house directly above it. The next day, a knock came to the door and he duly answered it. There was a man standing and he asked him if he could get into the house downstairs. George said no. The man turned around and says, ah, you know what's there then? And George turned around and said, yes, I saw the skeleton in the bed. Christine came to the door and let out a scream, for there was none other than Mr Guthrie, the owner of the house below theirs. She quickly screamed for the police. They duly arrived and Mr Guthrie was arrested. And it came out that he had actually found his wife in the arms of another man and duly killed her and left her in the house to basically rot. Now, strangely enough, he was not actually arrested for murder. He was actually let go. The judge said he had actually suffered enough. But what is strange is how could Christine live directly above a dead body? More so, how did Mr Guthrie know that George, a locksmith, had actually got into his flat? Needless to say, it is a very strange tale indeed, with many an unanswered question. So the next time you are out on Edinburgh, please walk down some of the many closes, and you too may find some very strange tales indeed. Thank you for joining me on another strange tale of Edinburgh.